right, let's see how our kitties are doing. Oh! 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 Hey! 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 Don't you be rushing for the door. Oh, you guys knocked your cat calendar off the shelf. This is an advent calendar for cats for the next litter. Let's put it away. Let's put it away for now. You nasty little spuds. All right. So we do have the final piece of adoption news for those of you who missed my package opening, wish list package opening live stream last night. And the news is that Graffiti and Sweet Potato have been adopted. They've been chosen for adoption. So every single cat in here knows where it's going. I don't know when we'll be empty, but it won't be long now. It depend on a few things, how things go. But I'm going to miss these guys, especially this grubby little spud. And Royal, our most underrated kitten, who's quite wonderful. And Tubular, who's my favorite of all. Graffiti, who I had to put in the work with to get her to warm up to me, but now goes on my lap for hours every day. It really worked. And Mama, who frankly is sick of it all. Can't wait to get you sorted out and figure out Everything that's going on with you so you can have the best life possible, Mama. You're very, very sweet. Thank you for raising wonderful kittens. And if any of you missed it, Slipper and Durian, now Coco and Fog, have their own TikTok, which is Gray778, G-R-A-E-778, where you can see updates about them. So all is well in the world so far. Updates galore. Updates every day. And I got things to do. So I'll catch you later. Bye. Well, it looks like Air Potato has made a new friend. Hello, squirrel. He wants to eat our bird feeder. And Air Potato wants to eat him. What are you doing, Spud? That's not how you make friends. You're a good boy, but this guy's just trying to eat. His tail is going. Something fierce. And I think this guy's a little bit nervous. Potatoes never met a squirrel, I guess. <clears throat> you wish, buddy. That was brave. He's testing if the window works. In another lifetime, you guys could almost be buddies. Not this one. Is this going to be a stalemate forever? Or is he going to come get some food? Either way, I think Spud won't let him. Not going to happen today, eh, Spud? You don't like him being there? Bud and the Squirrel, The Adventures of. Bye. It's late. I had a hockey game and I got home late, but we have active kittens tonight. They are playing hard. It is non stop, wall to wall action in the kitten room. Well, about as much action as you can have with four kittens. There were still six, there might be a bit more. You gonna go behind the couch? Get out of there, Sucrose Spud. <laughs> I just love seeing them have a good time and reminding myself, ooh, wall walk, that they all get to go home with one of their siblings. And they can play like this until they get old and lazy. 
Mama, you're not going in the desk. I don't think so, girl. Neither are you. These cats just want to go in the desk and find treats. Nope, straight to the dinner. That's right, you're not out of food. Don't act like you're starving. Here's our babies. Nice and low. Oh, I guess they're more interested in me than playing now. It's kind of a nice thing. Get going, you nasty little spud. You guys need to have a fight. Hey! Leave that cord alone, Dewey. Dewey, you bad little boy. You bad little boy. What do you think you're doing? Hey! What do you think you're doing? You nasty little spud. Now we caught a royal. Oh wait, that's graffiti. Royal's over there. And these cats are trying to get in the desk. Mama. We're not doing crunch heists. You wish. <laughs> this is what I live with every day. Hi, Royal. You're the good one, aren't you? Yes. The most well-behaved kitten. Which isn't saying much. <laughs> Good tumble. Real scrap going on there. Bunny kicks to the face. <laughs> Not done yet. Chomp. Chomp, chomp. Maybe I'll have some water. No. They're literally fighting in the cord. <laughs> Those tails going. It's a good little scrap we got going on here. Get out of the desk. You learn from your mom. These two boys battling for supremacy. Hey! Tails are going a mile a minute tonight. Nice jump graffiti. Whoa. Graffiti's getting wild. And Mama's going pee in the litter box, which I love to see. Just love to see it. Let's not watch, though. Good work, Mama. Hey, leave Vika's painting alone. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Get down from there. Hey. nothing sacred anymore you can distract this girl starfish it worked it worked and that's how kitten farmers do it catch you later bye I was coming to see how our kittens are doing and it looks like peewee's curious peewee are you curious who's in there it's Sweet Potato and Tubular and California. See, there's weird little friends here trying to squeeze their way out. Oh no, I should have brought the riot shield. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, kitties, we gotta stay in. <laughs> I made it in. Oh! And we have a special guest today. It's baby Dara and her mom. Just kidding, it's my wife, Victoria, and our baby. And the only kitten who wasn't coming to the door to meet Pee-wee's Graffiti who's over here playing with the litter box. What are you doing, girl? 
So I was looking through my emails and I don't have any indication quite... Whoa! You alright, Royal? I don't have any indication yet of when Tubular and Royal are getting picked up. So I'm still waiting for that news. California has a vet visit on Monday at 1.50 p.m. So we're going to make sure she's square and get her a spay appointment too probably before she goes home. And of course, as I announced before, Sweet Potato and Graffiti will go home on Monday at 4 o'clock. So if you feel like checking out the 24-7 live stream. Monday, 4 o'clock stream time is when they will be departing. I don't really know how that'll work or if it'll only be a one-minute uh, ordeal or what, but it is usually one of the events people tune in to see. Uh, and it's bittersweet that once they're all gone, the cameras will go dark for a week or two. But hopefully we'll get a situation again after that and be able to continue to entertain you with the raising of kittens, rescuing and raising of mama cats and their kittens. But we still have time, probably at least a week, so no rush yet. Anyway, do you guys like baby Dara's Halloween dress? And her mama's got a Halloween shirt that says, Boo! I better scoop the poops. Doesn't want to look at me. Bye. It turns out Tubular and his sister Royal are leaving tomorrow. So I think he's just come here to give me a little bit of love before they go. Tubular has definitely been uh, top 10 level foster kitten that I've ever had. Up there with the likes of Wally, Lemonade, Renegade, uh, Tundra, other kittens, some of which you guys know, some of which you guys don't know. Air Potato, of course. Best kittens we have ever had. Well, yes, and I see Royal has come to spend a little bit of time with me too. She's underrated and also wonderful. And I'm definitely going to miss these guys. They've been a good litter. And I've had a lot of fun with them. And their adoption date snuck up on me. It's already day 90, but it uh, feels like day 20. Went by quick. And these two are going to get a beautiful home together. And I'm going to miss them. Can't believe they're leaving tomorrow. In all likelihood, tomorrow evening. Haven't picked a time yet, but that's what's going on. Hopefully we'll see them again. Not sure if they'll get social media or not. Now let's get one last look at them together with the kitten farmer. I mean, maybe we'll get another look, but this is an official one. All the love to them. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we have Mama who's feeling a little bit under the weather today. So we're going to take her to the vet. California hasn't been feeling good. She was throwing up a little bit yesterday. Mostly clear fluid. Nothing too alarming, but she's not feeling the best, so we're taking her to the vet for fluids and a checkup and whatnot. She was supposed to have an appointment on Monday, but we'll do it today instead. And we thought of a good idea because somebody sent a few bucks for her on PayPal, so if anyone wants to contribute to California, send to PayPal, which is in the links on my TikTok bio, and uh, tag it for California and... Uh, Later today or tomorrow, I'll compile it and make a donation to Vokra in you guys' honor. And it supports the channel, too, because I'll get a tax receipt for that and write it off. So, win-win. You don't have to do that, but if you feel like contributing to her care, that's a way you can do it where 100% will go to Vokra and a little will come back to me on my tax return. Anyway, I'm hoping she's okay. She doesn't look too, too bad, but I think we need to get her in and figure out what's going on. So I'm going to take her now. The kittens want in, but they can't. We just got to put 
California in. Hopefully she's good at top loading. Oh geez, Tubi wants to go. There you go, Callie. She is displeased. She's in, she's relaxing, and I'm taking her to the vet now. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Catch you later. Bye. Okay, let's see how our kittens are doing. Hello, sweet potato. And graffiti. For those of you who missed it yesterday, we're down to just two kittens. We've got beautiful little sweet potato and only one bowl of food. And his sister graffiti. They leave on Monday, four o'clock stream time. <laughs> He's burning. And I'll just give you a quick little update on their mama. Their mama's at the vet still. She's probably gonna stay over one more night. They just wanted to keep her so they can give her fluids every day, all day, every day. And uh, my little idea for raising money for mama's bills actually worked yesterday. We got a bit of money in, so I'll be tallying that up later. But I think we got uh, maybe even past 600 bucks. So you guys did really good. Um, helping with mom's vet bills because they were they were looking like they would be about a thousand bucks I think I'm not sure um, but yeah she's apparently doing all right but we won't be seeing her until at the earliest tomorrow I don't think <laughs> it's always funny to be down to two kittens they do pretty good together because they do have a friend but it's weird because we had six for so long there's so few poops to scoop but at least we still got a grubby snoot. Catch you later. Bye. Well, little sweet spud, everyone wants to hear your purrs. Sweet potatoes burn up a storm and making air biscuits on me. Now that his siblings are gone, his grubby little snoot is literally my best friend. What a guy. He sure is cute. Bye. Well, today is the last full day of kittens in this house, in this kitten room, for California's litter. These two little ragamuffins leave tomorrow at 4 p.m. stream time. So if you like, you can tune in on the 24-7 live stream to see their last moments and hang out. I'm sure multiple people will be there. And also, I just wanted to remind you that we did get up the new graffiti merch the other day. So if you go through my bio links, you can find that. If you just want to look at the design Vika and I came up with, it's pretty funny. And we are still hoping to get out sweet potato merch. Hopefully before the end of the week. If we don't get it by the end of the week or sooner than that, we probably won't be doing it. But we're trying to get him because he's the last one and we've never done all of them before. <laughs> He's a good guy. Now I know some of you are waiting for an update on California. I don't have an update yet today, although I will say I am probably supposed to pick her up later today. So hopefully they'll give me that call and say, hey, you gotta come get her. And I can bring her back today. If she needs to stay longer, needs more medicine, then maybe that's what'll happen. <laughs> Of course, right when I record them, they decide to go in the litter box. Graffiti looks like she's having a little nap in there. That's weird. She's got litter all over her face. It's making her sneeze. But at least she's a good, well-trained kitten. As you saw from my video last night, Sweet Potato's been quite the loving little spud lately. And everyone's absolutely enamored with his extremely grubby little snoot. And he's going to give us evidence of why. It's grubby right now. Oh, he's eating. You see how he shoves his nose in there a little every time he takes a bite? Gets food residue on it. He's shoving his little face in there. When the food is new and moister, more moist, he sticks it right in. And then I just think because he's got kitten tendencies for cleaning, which is none, 
it tends to cake on. And because it's protein, it becomes almost impossible to get off. But yeah, he pushes the food around with his nose, which creates this Homer-like donut of brown dirt on his face that you guys have all grown to know and love. But yes, it's a bittersweet time in the kitten room. And it's probably one of the lower lows on the kitten farmer's list of duties. Not that kind of duty. Let's move on. To have the kittens go. But, uh, you know, my superpower is letting them go. And we will definitely be doing it again. I haven't quit yet. So I don't know if it'll be a day, week, month, or year. But we'll be back with another mama. More kittens. And I'm hoping before the end of the year. So we can do Winter Wonderland Kitten Room theme. That's the plan. But it'll depend on whether or not the cat faucet turns on and pours out another mama. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hey guys, quick update on Mama California. She's still at the vet today. They called me, uh, she was feeling better last night, but her tests aren't really in the place where they want them to be. So they're gonna keep her another night and run a few more tests. She had uh, an x-ray today. We don't have results from that, uh, but we're hopeful that they're gonna figure out exactly what's going on with her and we'll be able to get her back soon. And on top of that, we uh, closed in on, I believe almost a thousand bucks, at least over 900 bucks in the fundraiser for California's care. So we're really gonna be taking the pressure off Vokra today. When I finally make the donation, I've actually emailed them about the method uh, because I haven't sorted out exactly how I'm gonna send it to them yet, but we're gonna be doing it. Anyway, thanks so much and sorry I don't have more conclusive or more interesting news, but uh, hopefully soon. Maybe we'll see her tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, this is it guys. It is the last day when we have our two little kittens here. They are going home today at four o'clock stream time. And it's almost one right now, so it's about three and a half hours left with these guys. Sweet potato, sweet potato pancake. And beautiful graffiti, who has come so far out of her shell in the last couple of weeks since I started focusing on her. Should have been focusing on her grubby snoot. And we do have an update on their mama. And it's a bit of a wild ride, so sorry about that. But today, they had an x-ray for Mama last night, and they actually think she might have a blockage. So unfortunately, Mama's going in for exploratory surgery today, this afternoon, later this afternoon. Um, the health support team's reaching out to her doctor about it, I believe. And of course, Vokra will never let a cat down so we're gonna pay for that but it's been quite expensive I've seen the estimates so I'm gonna reopen uh, donations to our fundraiser for California's care you do not have to give money please feed yourself and your cats and house yourself first but anyone out there who hasn't contributed to California's care feel free to send me a PayPal make a note it's for California even if you don't I'll put it towards her today and uh, we'll try to cover more. So far we've already raised about $1,050. Her estimate is far beyond that. <laughs> We're gonna pay it either way. Volker never leaves a cat behind. We are not a rescue that lets cats down. We find, we take on the bills and we make it happen. But uh, if our channel can help even a little bit, I'd be happy about that. So if you want to, any dollars would count. So thank you for even considering that, especially those of you who already donated. Thank you very much for taking the pressure off. I've been talking to Voker about how to donate it, and it turns out we do have PayPal, so I'll be able to make a very easy transfer from mine to theirs, and they're very excited for the donation we're making, so thank you guys very much. Whew. But yeah, I know that's not exactly what everyone wanted to hear, but I'm hoping that everything goes well. In the surgery there's no further complications I hope it's a simple blockage uh, the other option is that it could be a fold in the intestines which has happened to our cats before not my specific cats but Volker cats before and 
hopefully we'll find out what that is later today or tomorrow. But I do not know. So, hate to put a damper on the last day of the little kittens being here. I'm really excited for them to have their home. But I will not be getting California back today, unfortunately. So we'll be thinking about her. Everyone keep your mind thinking about their mama. And just know she's in the best hands and we're doing the best we can for this girl. And today we will rejoice as Graffiti and Sweet Potato leave for their new home because they're happy and healthy and we've done a great job raising them. And I suppose the saga isn't over yet. But I'll be keeping you up to date. Anyhow, I'll catch you later. And I'll see those of you who are on the 24-7 live stream uh, at 4 o'clock when the kittens' uh, new parents show up. Catch you later. Bye.